The beginning of this economic concept, economies of the scale, can be dated back to Adam Smith, who was a Scottish pioneer of political economy and an important key figure during the Scottish Enlightenment era, and was based on the idea of obtaining greater production return profits through the use of the division of labour. Economies of the scale are referred to as cost advantages that a company gets by altering its levels of production processes. The company gets its advantages through economies of scale due to the inverse relationship that exists between the per unit fixed cost and the quantity produced. The lesser the quantity of produce, greater will be the per unit fixed cost of the product. The implementation of the economies of scale can take place at any of the firm stages of the production processes, including all the levels economic production of the commodity, except the one that comprises the involvement of the buyer. Also, a company can implement the economies of scale in its marketing sector by hiring a large number of marketing professionals. A company may also involve it in its input sector by adapting to machine labour over human labour. The economies of scale are applicable to a variety of organisational and business institutions at various units like the business and the manufacturing unit, input unit or even the entire institution. When the average cost of the product starts decreasing due to an increase in the output, the economies of the scale comes into play. Different types of economies of the scale, like the capital cost of the manufacturing facilities, the friction loss of transportation and industrial equipment and others, tend to have physical or engineering basis. The economies of the scale rely on the fixed cost that is uniform and do not vary with any of the alterations in output processes or variable costs, which may undergo changes due to change in the amount of output. Other sources of the economies of scale are Purchasing The companies can reduce their average costs by purchasing the inputs required for the production of the wholesalers or bulk sellers at cheap rates. Managerial the companies can reduce their average costs by adapting to a better management structure within the company. This can be done by improving the management pattern or through the hiring of skilled and experienced managerial staff. Technological The adaption of companies to technological advancement may bring about a major change in the production processes of the company. Taking the example of the oil industry, Fracking entirely changed the function of the old company. Financial The company can reduce their average costs by making a provision of obtaining low interest charges when taking loans from a bank or when the company has access to a wider range of financial instruments. Marketing Through marketing, companies can reduce their average costs by spreading their advertising money over the output processes of the company in the media market. Economies of scale, being a practical concept, explain the real-world phenomena taking place in and around, such as the processes of the international trade, the number of companies participating and holding a firm place in the market, etc. There are some companies that flourish exceedingly well in the market, and this is due to the exploitation of the economies of scale. Due to this, Free trade policies also flourish as there are some economies of scale that have the requirement of a much larger market than what can be provided by the country. Economies of scale also play an important role in a natural monopoly, which is the monopoly of business, in which barriers like high industrial costs, size of the market, etc., marks the largest supply of the industry. However, the economies of scale also come with some limitations, such as the raw material supply limit, such as that of wood in the pulp and paper industry is exceeded. There has been an increase in the demand of shipping of products over large uneconomical distances due to low cost of the product per unit weight, increase in the defect rate of the products and inefficient use of energy.